Hey, hey, how you doing? You all right? Um, sorry about little rant yesterday. Um, a couple of people have phoned up and well, not a go. They've just said actually thanks. It was what we needed to hear. And you know, if you're honest, you've just got to bear down and get on with it. Um, because if you don't, we can't do it for you. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I just wanted to touch on something that Jay mentioned last Friday on his elite call. Um, if you're not on those elite calls, that's probably because you're either not elite or you're not aware of them. If you are elite, you're missing a treat. Absolutely fab call. But he, he, I've always felt I've been pretty good at setting goals. Okay, And I can set a goal and I can achieve it. And I can measure it. But I've missed a trick. And I want to share it with you just in case you're missing the same trick. Okay. Um, we want goals to be smart, don't we? Can you remember that? Specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and timely. Or actually I like tangible. And by tangible I mean we can experience it through one of our senses. Um, and I'd always thought, yeah, okay, it's measurable. And... All the goals I set myself have been good, and you know, we've worked. I've worked with people in sailing for a long, long time. And he said something about lead generation on Friday night last, and he had a couple on, and I can't remember the names. I'm really sorry because if you see this, you'll think it's ever so rude of me. But it's over a week ago, and this couple said, "Yeah, we're doing a 30-day blogging challenge." And Joe said, oh, okay, that's good. And he said, but we think maybe blogging's wrong. And Joe said, well, blogging's not wrong. Look at Mark Ford. And wow, look at Mark Ford. Um, but he said, what you're doing is you're mixing up one goal. You're mixing up two goals with one task. So in other words, they're getting into a blogging challenge when they want to generate leads. And they haven't tied the outcome with the task. So in other words, the outcome of blogging, unless they go through the whole process of distribution and knowing where those blogs are going to be, doing a 30-day blogging challenge of two blogs a day will produce 60 blogs. And that's great. Now, if they'd included in that and of those two blogs we want five leads each so we're getting 10 leads a day they would have then had a measurable tangible business outcome with you know the potential for a monetary attachment and I th bang and he's so good at this jay really is and he talked about having quarterly monthly weekly and daily goals and actually writing them down so you can cross them off as they happen and not just having 10 leads, but actually putting 1 to 10, numbers 1 to 10 on your chart, and writing in the name or source of the lead as it comes in. And that is so powerful, because you've got something physical in front of you that you can look at. So it made me reevaluate everything that I'm doing in terms of this video uh, challenge, because the video challenge is to produce 90 days worth of video content um, well that's great isn't it I can just go to YouTube and bang another video on copy an Alan P's video or something but by tying it into this tangible outcome of generating leads it's really sharpened my focus as to how I distribute the videos who I get to see them what links I'm putting in and the whole thing has suddenly become a lot more focused and that is what goals do okay if you want any more help on goals if you visit my blog if you look at the links underneath stevegreenhouse.com there's hordes of different articles on goal setting okay but actually if you can find jay cooper's axe goal setting video you'll be doing yourself a huge favor and i'm not going to put it in the box for you you've got to find it yourself okay steve greenhouse stevegreenhouse.com helping you create financial security through goal setting and digital marketing take care see you soon bye